Well hi folks, into December now and I just can't believe this weather, it's so mild but with it being so mild and no frost it's bringing its problems not necessarily problems but this is my early purple sprouting broccoli which should be ready in about February, March time and as you can see it's starting to come now in December because it's been so mild it's just kept growing and it's not gone dormant over winter because we've not had a winter yet or anything like a winter so that's a bit of a problem because if it does get really cold and get any hard frost then that'll get destroyed and it's probably going to be over by Christmas anyway at this rate so it's getting a bit silly this warm weather what else have we got uh, weeds weeds should have stopped growing ages ago in the cold but you know these are these annual weeds that are just beaten off by frosts and should die but like I said because we've had no frost they're just they're just growing like they would do in summer so another bit of a problem, I'm going to have to start hoeing in the middle of uh, December at this rate. And then other things, this is my kale, and because it's one of the only sort of leafy things growing outside at the moment, it's become an absolute magnet for pests because the pests are still alive. The aphids, and if I can just show you the sort of state, look at the, look at the state of that, absolutely covered in aphids and they've just been all the way up the plant and just destroyed them because again we've had no frosts so the bugs are just absolutely proliferating absolutely hanging so that's a bit disappointed I usually like to eat that all winter but like I said because of the frost and lack of them the pests are the pests are still here this is my big weeping willow and if I get in and show you it's starting to bud already, or start forming the catkins, whatever you call them, in December, again. Absolutely ridiculous. So if there's any fruit about, I mean, if the fruit starts to blossom at this time of year, for some reason, it's just going to have no fruit at all next year, because it'll get frosted. So there you go. This, I was never a big believer in this global warming, but the last couple of years it's been so mild, I'm starting to come round to the fact that there might be something... And again, these are my perennial plants that I grow, well, that grow every year, crocosmia and poppies, big uh, Chinese poppies and stuff, and they die back. But as you can see, the poppies are starting to grow back again, and they should only really start coming March time. So they're growing back already, the new shoots, the young, the young shoots for next year. Now, I think they are quite cold resistant, but they're not, if we get a really harsh winter, they're not that tolerant. So, another one that's come up thinking it's uh, springtime in December but this has got to be the strangest one look lettuces outside rows of lettuces still growing in December that is absolutely crazy I've never had that before they usually finish by September October but December imagine picking a lettuce on Christmas Day that would be absolutely bizarre so yet another strange phenomenon even some of these saplings we planted in our field still got leaves on just a few some of them but December and still leaves on trees we've got one here it's got all its leaves on still and it's not a, it's not an evergreen it's a deciduous tree but it's got all its leaves on in December never ever seen that before and in my polytunnel where it's been even warmer because it gives you a bit, a bit more protection these are the cabbages I, I sowed a few months ago, thinking they'd be ready in spring for spring cabbages. And check out that look. We're almost ready now. That's absolutely crazy. Cabbages, in uh, spring cabbages in, in December too. And just for a laugh, I planted a few spring onions. Just to, I didn't think they'd grow. Okay, they're not the biggest. But there's some there ready. So like I say, this warm weather is just the season's becoming more and more extended. If you could guarantee it, you could change your plans and you could probably grow things nearly 365 days a year if you had a polytunnel. But because it'll probably all change next year, and there's no pattern to it, you don't know, but you just got to make the most of these little freakish episodes. Look at that, cabbages, that's ridiculous. So that's about it folks really, not a, not a really exciting video, just sort of highlighting now this mild winter and autumn has kept things growing and kept the pests going so I'm just hoping it's supposed to be some cold weather coming in over the next week judging by the sky it was a little bit cold last night we should get some dead cold weather just to kill the pests off if anything the 
the bugs and the slugs and everything otherwise we're just going to be absolutely covered in them next year so anyway that's about it folks just a short video of not much substance that's about it folks see you later